Hey, we were Professor Abramelli. A message to Pharaoh. Let my people go. There are pharaohs on many levels, and there are messages to the pharaoh, and the pharaohs on many levels. There are pharaohs of the individual, there are pharaohs of classes, and there are pharaohs of politics and of power. There are pharaohs in corporations, there are pharaohs in day to day. We are sometimes a pharaoh and we are sometimes a Moses and at other times we are the magicians. The story of the ten plagues and the dystopia of Egypt is a story of ourselves, our human individual selves and of our group selves and of our political selves. The essence of the discussion between the Pharaoh and Moses was the nature of liberty. Moses requested to go for a, a three-day event into the desert. And the question was, how far into the desert would they, what borders would they cross? Would they be within the land or outside of the land? Would they take their cattle with them? Would they take their children with them? Would they take their wives with them? Would they take their their uh, their possessions with them? The would they worship? What would they worship with? These questions of liberty and of rest and of property are the questions which one which relates to the pharaoh. And the request of Moses, let my people go, it, it, it requires addressing to let, what does to let mean? My, what is mine? Who are they? My people? Are they the children? Are they the families? Are they the, are they the possessions? And go, go to where? Go within the borders or outside of the borders? So the very question uh, toward, poised towards the, uh, the pharaoh was a question of who and what and where. And that is one that we must ask ourselves. So for the individual, there's a lot of self-help and a lot of psych psychological advice given for the, the for the ail, ailments of the individual and for the corporation there's a lot of advice the political and civilizational structures the pharaoh of civilizations less people uh, less people attend because it is complex today's pharaohs are great bureaucracies where people cannot come together and meet together and share because the the structural binds do not allow it and that is a giant which is hard to even acknowledge Against the monolith of the Pharaoh was the nomadic nature of Israel, which was divided into the tribes, including the Levites, including the relationship between the, in, the elders and the broken down to smaller and smaller components. And, and the relationship between the giant monolith of Egypt and the nomadic distributed, integrated, small groups of, of Israel is uh, to be noted. The theme of the collapse of the superpower of Egypt, it's, it's vanishing, it's drowning in the sea, chased or chasing Israel, chasing an ideal, is part of the biblical drama. The question is, 
what does it mean in real politic? And what does it mean for for con contemporaneous circumstances like today? So if you are suffering enslavement, difficulty, bureaucracy, if you are a member of an elite under you, people are suffering, people are wondering about their freedom. If you belong to a party where people's liberties are different from your liberties, if uh, you belong to an ideology which rejects or suppresses another person's ideology, then you may be a pharaoh. And uh, in fact, we all belong to these sectors at different parts and different times of our lives, even in different parts of our day and towards different people and towards different influences. Sometimes we are... Uh, we tell, and sometimes we are told, sometimes we set, and sometimes it's set for us. So one needs to be very cautious about how one ignores oneself in this pharaonic message.